In this video, we are diving into what might be one of the biggest shifts in Europe tech landscape in recent history and why Germany could become the place for you to be as IT specialist. What if I told you that critical services, infrastructure and data Europe relies on today can be switched off tomorrow by accident by a single decision made thousand kilometers away? Then this is not theory, it's already happening. In response, Europe has begun something unprecedented – the launch of Eurostack. A massive initiative to build homegrown tech ecosystems create hundreds of thousands of jobs to reduce reliance on foreign technology. How it all began? Everything started at Munich Security Conference. I don't want to describe what happened there, but in simple words, the US stated that they will not actively protect Europe if war happens on its territory. Another very telling episode is Elon Musk's tweet, where he makes the subtle hint that if he switches off the Starlink for Ukraine, its front lines will immediately collapse. For the conversation with Polish military minister you can see on your screens. And the third one marks our company situation when they turned off the data for Ukraine. Yes, this is private company which has contractual obligations, which simply stops providing you services just because it was a request of Trump's administration. Now Maxar has a proud point in its history stating that they are that they have cut off access to strategic data for the country that fights a defensive war. It means that one person can easily switch off very strate strategic and vital information within one hour if you do not do what he wants. I know that intelligence data sharing has been restored after some time and Starlink has not been shut down officially. And officially there are a lot of suspicious coincidences when Starlink stopped working during the very crucial missions. And it actually means if you are working with US, you are not safe anymore. What other conclusions can be made from that? These examples give clear message not only to Europe, but to all US allies. And the message is, if you don't want to do what US government wants from you, all your US-based services can be shut down with the signature of one person within a couple of hours. No long procedures of Senate voting, no complaints to higher international institutions, no transition period to adjust your supply chains, no, just shut down and you can do actually nothing with it. I also started to realize how much I depend on Google services and theoretically it means tomorrow my access can be suspended or I will have to pay additional money to get access there just because I'm not a citizen of USA and I don't reside in this country. So. What is Eurostack? Eurostack is a European industrial policy initiative launched in September 2024 to promote digital sovereignty and competitiveness in Europe. The initiative aims to build comprehensive digital ecosystem made and supplied in Europe. So, key aspects of Eurostack are, so first of all, developing European common digital stack for AI, cloud computing and critical technology. They want to invest something like 300 billion over a decade to generate high-skilled jobs and reduce dependencies on foreign technologies. Also promoting Made in Europe, digital products and services to strengthen European position as a global manufacturing hub. As I said before, Eurostack initiative was launched in September 2024, before actually presidential elections in US and before this pivot in US policy. And expectedly, it didn't meet much of enthusiasm. But after recent events, it seems that gears started to move. First thing worth mentioning here is the open letter to European government from the European Tech Coalition. I will leave the source link in the description of this video. You can read this letter yourself and the list of companies who joined, but in short words. A coalition of over 80 European tech organizations, including Airbus, Overha Cloud and Proton, has urged European Union lawmakers to take radical action to reduce reliance on foreign-owned technologies and digital infrastructure. In an open letter to European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and Digital Chief of Transformation Hanna Virkonen, they advocate for the development of a Eurostack, encompassing homegrown technologies from applications to AI and to chips or, for example, connectivity. Another thing worth mentioning, on March 2025, European Union leaders endorsed a landmark plan to mobilize approximately 
860 billion of European military spendings over the next five years. This initiative, known as the Rearm Europe Plan, aims to strengthen the European Union's defense capability and reduce dependence on the United States for the security. Of course, this initiative should create a lot of jobs in cybersecurity, robotics, embedded systems, or cryptography, you name it. And the last but not least, several European countries and universities have launched initiatives to attract U.S. scientists affected by funding cuts and political interference under the Trump's administration. This coordinated effort aimed to capitalize on the current situation in the United States and strengthen the European scientific community. There are a lot of things already happening with this initiative. I will also leave the source in the description of this video. What does it mean for us? It creates demand for developing IT services in Europe. Before there was no such demand because Google existed. Now the demand starts to emerge and it means jobs. It also means that US IT companies will shrink, at least they should shrink, from the common logic how markets work. Why? Because the demand on US-based products and services will decrease, especially digital ones, which can be controlled from outside. It means that European industry, including, of course, tech industry, should expand because of increased demand. That's what I actually want to say here. By the way, do you agree with me? And while we are talking about new opportunities and the growing demand for tech talents in Europe, I'd like to quickly share something from my side that might be interesting for you. Scalable Capital, the company where I'm working right now, is actively hiring people in tech and financial fields. This is one of the biggest and most successful German fintech companies. I've been working here for more than four years on senior engineering position and I can totally recommend Scalable Capital as one of the best German employers. I will leave the link on the Scalable Capital career section in the pinned comment to this video and if you have the required skills and if you really have those skills, you can write me on LinkedIn, by the way, my profile is, is in the description of this channel, and I can give you my referral link on this position. My referral link does not guarantee you the invitation to interview, but at least guarantees you that your application will be reviewed. Thank you for your attention, and I will be happy to have you as one of my colleagues. Now let's come back to how the situation with Eurostock may evolve in Europe in upcoming years. Of course, I understand that this may take years until it comes to something tangible or maybe it will never happen. I mean the appearance of Silicon Valley in Europe, because all those open letters, declarations on TV basically mean nothing in terms of action in reality. But it creates a necessary and very important narrative. Europe should invest in research and development. I mean, European Union is a huge organization with 450 million of population and GDP of around one-sixth of the world's economy. This is a huge economical power, which, can, which is capable of doing a lot of things. Of course, if they manage to agree with each other. But what does it mean for us? I mean, for tech people working in Germany. Theoretically, this is a very good news. Germany is a country with the biggest economic potential in Europe. And by the way, this is third world economy. The country has full capacity of creating huge amount of new working places in tech or, for example, encouraging IT companies opening business or relocating their businesses on its territory. There is a huge demand for digital modernization of German infrastructure. Yes, sometimes they still use faxes here. Friedrich Merz, the new chancellor of Germany, looks like an adequate guy who can clearly understand the situation. Okay, I know he didn't do much yet, but at least he looks okay for now. So, speaking about me personally, I'm cautiously optimistic about the situation and how it may evolve. I really expect positive changes in German IT in the upcoming five years. Of course, like a Ukrainian, I am very disappointed with the way the situation develops with USA. Looks like democratic countries have recently lost their main ally, which is the biggest economy and military power in the world, at least for now. World has changed dramatically and previous balance will never come back. So we can sit and cry about the situation or we should embrace the reality as soon as possible and start to adapt. Because in evolution, not those who are strongest survive, not those who are smartest, fastest, deadliest, whatever survive. In evolution, survive those who adapt the best. 
This video is not an analytical one, but I thought it would be important to mention those initiatives and narratives which are starting to happen in Europe, because they directly influence German tech and potentially greatly improve the situation with IT jobs in Germany. Another reason why I made this video, I wanted to hear your opinion about that. How do you think the situation will evolve? And of course, if you want some German IT analytics, here are some videos for you.